gingerbread house with all the traditional decorations is a bit of a Christmas favourite. But gingerbread desserts can be made all year round because gingerbread is completely delicious. The wonderful Daniela Butras from Buttercream Lane is here with us this morning to show us how. Welcome back, thank Daniela. You. How are you? Good, thank you. Hi, Hi honey. darling. Hi, honey. Now, oh, gingerbread. Oh, yummy. We all love gingerbread. I do. It I... tastes delicious. So how can we make it into a cheesecake? Well, the whole idea is you can purchase gingerbread all year round. Mm -hmm. or you can make it yourself, mm -hmm. so up to you. Otherwise, a ginger nut cookie will do it for you. Ah, yeah. okay. So, oh, really? Yeah, oh. and it's got that nice flavour to it. So crunch up some ginger nut cookies in yes. the processor. Mm -hmm. And then I add semolina. So it just softens up the base that little bit. What's that? Oh, it's like a, it's a ground kind of grain. You can get it from the supermarkets. All okay. major supermarkets Great. have it. It'll be in your international aisle. And then some melted butter. Pop that in there. And then you put this together and this will make your gingerbread base. Ah, Do you want to give that a stir? Sure. And then with the filling, so, we'll come over here. We've got our it, cream cheese. We put all this yeah, in? Yeah, put it all mm -hmm. in. There's a spatula there for you. Oh, Thank yeah, you, you can do whatever you like. So we've got cream cheese and then I use the sour cream and the sour cream just helps take away that sweetness, that overly sweet taste. So it'll cut through that for you and balance it really nicely. So if you don't like sour cream, you could use... Um, oh, I love sour cream. Oh, cool. Or labneh or um, Greek yogurt that's unsalted. That'll work too. So then it's what um, sugar? Caster sugar. Caster sugar. And then... They're my favourite. So mixed spice and ground ginger. Ooh. So this gives it a nice warm the mix, flavour to This it. mix... Does this come together or do you have to put it... Do you know, I don't ground it myself. I do buy the spices already ground, but I like to... But you can buy it together like you this. Can, oh, no, no, I put that together oh, you for put you it today together. just to make it a bit easier. Right, and so how many eggs, my darling? Four eggs. So you you want to beat that up first. We'll do it so it's a bit... Oh, you want quick. me to beat before you, the eggs is that going? Okay. okay. And this ends up a bit of a biscuit, correct? Yeah, so that can go straight into there and you Just, can yes. yeah, pat it down and with your spoon. And then pat it down. Okay. And, oh. Hey, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a nice beat and then you'll add each egg one at a time. Beat it really well. That's rocking the whole it. bench. <laughs> <laughs> you got My God, this is a super whiz, love. Yeah. <laughs> this is shaking the crap out of me. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Now, now the pour, eggs. Yeah, now one egg at a time. Now pour my sauce. It's a caramel jersey sauce. So we've got some butter. Oh, that sounds amazing. One of my favourite condensed milk. I have this in my coffee. Do you know, tea. I used to, um, I used to, oh, just drink condensed milk straight from a can. Oh, do, oh really? Oh, it's beautiful into a cup. Mm. Oh, yum. And I thought I was naughty. Tom. That's pretty <laughs> naughty. Then you've got your caramel jersey and some brown sugar. So it's not like something you have on a diet week. No. So there we go. But tastes delicious. And something you don't might not know about me, I listen to Christmas music all year round. So this is why I love to Do introduce... You? Yes. I never get to enjoy Christmas. I'm making thousands yeah, of cakes you're too during busy. that time. So all year round on my playlist is Christmas music. Is that right, Daniela? Just Sorry, that's perfect. So there you go. Base like that. Really nice, clean base. How's so, that darling, going? is it three eggs or four? It's four. Four is that eggs, okay? yeah. Get rid of that one. In there. That's looking, looking really very good. nice. So, with your sauce, everything will melt down and you'll give it a good whisk. It will take a minute or two. Yes. And you'll get this really nice caramel sauce here, if you can see it. Oh, it's beautiful. Hang on. Do you want your help? Yeah, thanks. With a little bit of biscuit on there, or related to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Get that out. So, it's really decadent. But as I said, that sour cream or the yogurt in the batter will cut through that sweetness. And then for a nice, quick and easy decoration, can everyone see the finishing touch of that chocolate sail mm. on top? That's beautiful. So this is just some baking paper, right. melted chocolate. So I've gone for white chocolate for our cheesecake. <sighs> and then all you do is give it a little spread into a shape of some sort. No need to get too fancy. And then pop it into a bowl to give it a bit of a shape and let it set. If you want a bit more curves, some pegs, you can fold up your paper and peg it. And oh, what a, a great a idea. And that'll dry. And then... And how long nice will you pop that into the fridge for? I reckon tops, maybe four minutes. 
four minutes. But look how it looks so pretty and artistic. Stunning, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it doesn't take much technique. It's something you can do nice, quick and easy. Always have chocolate on hand. And that way, if you make a big mistake and there's a crack in your cake, that will cover, cover it up. Cover it up. I love <laughs> it. We've got topping. So after we've done this, we'll Daniela, the then we'll just pop the... Yeah, it's done. Do you want to, we'll stop that. I'll give this another stir. So can mm -hmm. you see our caramel sauce coming together? That nice is and beautiful. Now is this, is this? Yeah, you can stop that. It's, it's fine. Yeah, and pour it in, scrape oh. it down. Look at that, it's so decadent and so lovely. Oh. And your house will smell like a gingerbread house. Oh, that smells delicious. Yeah. We are going to go to a quick break, Daniela. Done. And we'll return in just a moment when we put together this delicious gingerbread <laughs> treat. We'll see you in just a moment. We are about to taste any of sweet treats with a bit of a gingerbread twist. How good's that song? Things that make no, you go, oh, good's this food? Oh, I know. Sorry. So, so um, Daniel, just take us through. Come I love that everyone's got a job. You're going to pour that in, and we're going to bake the cheesecake for an hour. Oh, yep. So beautiful. it's a beautiful baked yeah. cheesecake. You leave it in the oven, ajar the door, let it cool down, and right. then move it out. Yeah. It is, of course, time to taste test Ooh. these delicious sweet treats Ooh. from the wonderful Daniela. Mm. This is, I just, you know, for work purposes, had a quick mm. little taste. Oh. It is the most amazing caramel sauce I've ever had. Wow. Mm. It is incredible. It is delicious. Mm. Carol and I have almost eaten our <laughs> entire slices already. <laughs> and, and you who it's was on a better diet. than sex. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That's a big call. A, oh. It's pretty wow. amazing. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than I remember it. Um, Daniela, where can people get your recipes, of course, from Buttercream? You can head on to buttercremelane.com.au and si subscribe to Studio 10's uh, YouTube channel where we put yes. all the oh, stuff. What a great, a great idea. idea. What a you thoroughly organic pot. Uh -huh. yeah, absolutely you. amazing. It is oh, super so sweet and super easy mm. to make. Are you OK? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. And breaking you know, a diet, too. This is a true story. My first job in journalism, a senior um, editor said that he wanted oh, to open a restaurant diet. called Revealing Sources. Oh, I love it. How did that business go? Not very well. Yeah. <laughs>